Hello and welcome to the first lesson of the Create a Healthy Happy uh, Body um, mini-series. I'm so happy that you signed up. Thank you for being here. So today we will be covering one of the first things that I, I start working with my clients on in my health coaching practice. Uh, and it is how to eat for sustainable energy uh, and the importance of that. And it's something that's so basic and so simple, yet many of us completely ignore this and also completely ignore how their body is reacting to the food that they eat. So uh, we'll dig into this in, in this session. And if you have any questions at all, uh, feel free to just uh, email me uh, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. So <clears throat> why is it important to eat um, high energy foods or of, of, of foods that give us sustainable energy as opposed to give us a dispersed of energy and then a crash, a blood sugar crash. Um, so if we don't eat for energy then um, it affects our mood in a negative way and it also um, foods that don't give uh, sustainable energy they actually affect our body's ability to adapt to stress. Um, and also, it will be increasing the fat deposits in and around our bodies and, um, and also raising the bad cholesterol and lowering the good cholesterol over time. So it's hugely important to, to, to get this under control. Um, so really, the, the, you could say that the difference between uh, eating for high for energy and eating for sustainable uh, energy is the difference between staying stuck in your current situation with the current health, with your current body, and creating the healthy of you, the healthy body of your dreams, which is huge. <laughs> uh, so that's why this is a basic thing that I, I cover. This is one of the first um, steps that um, I help my clients. Um, get a grip on and and start practicing as soon as possible and for that help them to figure out what foods give them sustainable energy versus takeaway. So let's dig into why a little bit more why eating food that gives sustainable energy why uh, what does why, why that is important. Um, so that also, so that my intention is for you to, to, to take the first step here to, to, uh, in, in mastering how to do this for yourself. So let's look at what it looks like to eat for sustainable energy. Well, first of all, if you eat for sustainable energy, when you eat, you don't get tired. You will get energy from the food that you eat as opposed to feeling like, oh, I need a nap, right? Uh, many times, like even when we think that we're eating uh, relatively healthy, and we notice after we eat the meal, we feel completely drained and tired. Um, and then there's there are things that have to be adjusted, right? Um, I I this I've experienced this before. It's like what's wrong? Every time I eat lunch, I I, I feel like I need a nap, right? And that's not eating for energy. Um, so many times it's also because we eat uh, certain foods that we are are generally considered healthy, but not might not be healthy for us. Um, so that's an, an example. Um, but um, so eating for sustainable energy, what it looks like, it, it means we get energy from the food we eat. We don't feel like we have to go and get a nap, right? And um, also, when we eat for energy, we last longer in between meals. We're less likely to be snacking mindlessly on things or just grabbing things on a whim. <clears throat> uh, when we eat for energy, we're also less likely to you know have needing to to grab get this oh I need I need a coffee right um, or I need to have a cookie or some candy some quick energy type foods that will later give us a crash um, so eating for energy also balances your mood if we eat for, for energy uh, and also, if our body, if we eat for energy, for a sustainable energy, we, our body is so much more likely to use up the food we eat as energy, use it up in the body as opposed to storing it as fat, which is what most of us don't want to happen, right? So let's, take, let's have a look at what it looks like when we don't eat for sustainable energy. As in the example that I mentioned a little earlier, uh, when, we eat, when we don't eat for, for sustained en en um, energy, then we often feel tired after eating. 
uh, we might feel even that we need a nap or we, we, we feel the need to, uh, to grab, you know, um, an extra coffee at 3 p.m. or we go to the candy drawer at work or whatever it might mean in your case. Or we grab the cookies on the table in the coffee room, whatever it, it, it is for you, right? So, um, and also when we don't eat for sustainable energy, oftentimes like, we might be eating like prepackaged food or eating out at restaurants. <clears throat> um, and, and these types of foods that really uh, drain our, our energy and make us feel tired and sluggish and also affect our mood in, in a negative way. Um, and this type of eating, when we don't eat for sustained energy, it can create inflammation in the body and, and weight gain in the long run. So, as I mentioned, many times we can be eating something that's generally considered healthy or uh, good for us, and it might not be a high energy food for us. It might not be food that our body is agreeing on. And if we continue eating this, many, many times I know, I've seen it in my, as a pattern in myself too, this is really healthy, I really want to be, eat it, but it might not be food that agrees with me. And if you eat such a food, it can create inflammation in the body and it also can cause weight gain. And uh, so, so it's incredibly important to, to start. So, so, so first of all, I should say, so that what can you do then um, when you, if you have the desire to want to start to eat for energy? So the first thing that you can start doing right now is to notice. Start noticing. And when I say notice, it is the same as tuning in or remain aware or remain conscious about what happens when you eat a certain food, when you eat a certain meal, right? Start noticing. How do you feel just afterwards? How do you feel 30 minutes after? How do you feel two hours after that particular meal? Um, so, this is something that takes some practice, um, uh, but you can start. You can start doing this already right now. Notice, notice, notice. Tune in as to what. How do you feel after you eat um, a certain food? And, and ideally, you know, make a note of it. This is what I, what I do with clients. We look, have a look at the whole. You know, we have a look at um, um, exactly the, what they eat and then how they're feeling after each meal and then we look at how we can upgrade this what we can switch out to make it a more high energy meal for them so um, I know it seems so basic right so it's so easy to just discard it and think oh I'm not gonna do that or why does it matter but it is really important to get this handle and sometimes really we, it, it's very useful depending on where you are I always when I work with clients I always meet them where they are so it all depends on where you are but I have a, a system for identifying foods that are um, you know I call them almost like fake energy foods that foods that give you, so initially it might give you a little, you know, energy, but then you will crash almost, you know, after 30 minutes, you'll feel completely wiped out and need a nap. And how to gradually go about upgrading those to move to foods that are, um, that give you more sustainable energy and, and gradually upgrade like that. So if you're interested in, in, in uh, uncovering this more and applying it to your specific case, just uh, contact me. Um, um, and I will, um, and we can set up the free consultation where we can discuss this further on what would this look like in your specific case. Uh, but uh, something that I want to take with you from this uh, video is start noticing. Start noticing. Sometimes we just are on aut autopilot. We just eat something because it might be part of the diet that we're following. This is what you should be eating, should be eating. And then you don't take any time. It sounds almost crazy, but we do it. All of us do it sometimes. I do it too sometimes. You, we just go over it. We just do it either out of habit. We're in a, we have this loop in the brain that's like the habit that's tr triggered. And we just do We just do that. We just stay in that habit loop. So what you can do to break that habit loop is just to create, it's just to remain aware, to start noticing. And this practice 
starting to notice is also hugely, hugely important when it comes to um, when you're working towards a health goal and you might have cravings or things that trigger you, even trigger foods and stuff like that. So when you are aware, if you have see a trigger, a trigger can also be stress, can be triggers, you know, loneliness, sadness, um, you know, feeling completely overworked can be also a trigger. So when you have a, a trigger uh, and um, if you have no awareness around it, if you don't remain aware, you have no choice but to grab that and eat it. <clears throat> so it, what I also do with clients is we practice creating a space between the trigger and your action, in this case, eating something that might not be in alignment with your health goal. So we create a space between the trigger and the action. The trigger can be many things. Not only can it be like seeing a pack, pack of chips, but when you have <clears throat> a space between the, the trigger and the action, you have a choice. You can choose to either eat a little bit of those potato chips, or you can choose to and eat them mindfully, or you can choose to not have any at all and throw them in, in the garbage, or you can choose to... Um, to do something else, I don't know. <laughs> but then you ac actually have a choice. It, whether, whereas if you don't remain aware, if you don't notice, you have no choice but to go for that and, and eat it. And then it, when you're not remaining aware, you're so much more likely to go in a you know, f you know, free-falling binge as opposed to eating mindfully and, and, and are in control of what you're doing. So That's just to add into the the importance of practicing and and, and mastering this awareness um, around high energy foods. Hugely, hugely important because in the long run, this will be what helps pull you forward towards your health goal. And this is what what I do with, when I work with my clients too. We we work on linking pleasure in the brain. Uh, with the activity that will help you reach your health goal. So you're constantly pulled forward by that. And when you notice, right, you notice, okay, here is a bagel maybe, or um, a, what should we say, a donut, for example. Ooh, that donut looks really good. Someone brought it in today. Oh my God, I cannot, just not, not eat that, right? Uh, and then you, um, if you see it, you see it and you just grab it, you're going to eat it, right? If you don't aware, if you're not aware. Whereas if you are aware, you have that space. Okay, so you, then you can make a choice. Uh, and you, you can remember, okay, last time I ate that, I remember Johanna told me about noticing, about noticing when you eat, um, which foods give you energy versus take away, which foods give you sustainable energy. So then the next time you see that bagel, you might practice, okay, what happens after I eat this bagel or this um, donut? What happens just after? I feel really good. It tastes good. I feel really good. It gives me a surge of energy, right? But what happens 30 minutes after? Right? Notice. Notice what happens. And then next time you see that bagel, you, you, and if you remain aware and notice, you will have a choice. You can choose to ask yourself, is this, is this in alignment with how I want to be feeling? Yes or no? Right? Then you have a choice. Then you can walk, you can walk away, or you can dis decide to, to take a different action, or you can decide to share it with someone and eat it mindfully. But you have a choice, right? So hugely important. And remember, and I want to mention too, it's the small little steps, the small effort that we take every day that in the end will bring about the big end results. So um, something to keep in mind. And also what I wanted to keep in mind is that what is generally considered healthy might not be right for you. So um, I hope that you... Um, got it the takeaway from this video and that you will start noticing because when you start noticing that can change everything even though it seems like such a simple simple step it's hugely important thank you so much for tuning in and tomorrow you will be receiving the second video uh, i can't wait to uh, to connect with you then take care bye